Hey guys, welcome back to the last play of Sha of Lost Alice. And today we're gonna do we're gonna start the roots. So here we go. We're gonna do Joker Breeze's root first. So here. Yes. My world was pitch black. In the total darkness where I couldn't see anything, there, nothing seemed to exist. I heard someone humming blissfully. Oh, what a lovely sound. Curious, cu curiously, it had a calming effect. Hmm. I slowly opened my eyes despite a screaming headache. I must have lost consciousness. A thick cluster of trees surrounded me. The sound of humming was still heard in the darkness. Huh? For some reason, I felt very strange. The scenery that came into view was somewhat slanted. My head felt dizzy and I wasn't sure which way was up or down. I'm pretty sure the sky is up and the ground is down, right? Someone gently caressed my hair while I was staring upset at the sky. <laughs> that tickles. The hand apparently belonged to the person who had been humming. How strange, this feels so comforting. I think I might fall back to sleep. But my subconscious mind was telling me that I shouldn't give in to this comfort. And now, am I? The unspoken question has many been my senses. Am I lying down right now? In fact, that someone. In fact, is that someone's lap I feel? Oh, wait, why am I? I abruptly stopped as I let out a high pitched squeak. Ah, Alice, you're awake. Joker? The sound of a familiar voice made me realize whose lap I was resting on my head on. I immediately sat up and put some distance between me and him, Joker. I sat in my glare before launching into a tirade. What is this all about? Why is my head on your lap? Here we go. Joker smiled wildly as he stood up, carelessly shrugging his low shoulders. You don't need to sound so wary, Alice. I'm not going to eat you alive. The implication I might be overreacting got my hackles up. How am I supposed to react upon waking up to find my head, my head on the lap of a stranger? So natural for me to be outraged. Well, I suppose you do have a point. Joker already didn't insinuate something to my censure. But his expression didn't falter as he spoke. He spoke as if unfazed. Surely he must bear some sort of responsibility for unexpectedly falling from the sky. What did you say? All I am is guilty of. All I am guilty of is taking care of you after you suddenly fell from the sky as I happened to pass by. What? His words slowly brought the memories back. Come to think of it. I started to lose consciousness while I was starting to look, and at that time, I felt like a rug had been pulled from under me that I hadn't realized I was actually falling. Although it sounded so far fetched, I also found it hard to believe that Joker was lying. Mm hmm. I premium root. Point. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is second.
okay? Well, if that's the case, regardless of the fact that I was taken by surprise, my behavior was reprehensive. Shane felt me flustered, left me flustered, and I dropped my head in resignation. I'm sorry, Joker. You didn't do anything wrong. I hastily jumped in co into, clo into conclusions. Thank you for letting me borrow your lap after I collapsed. You're welcome, Alice. Under, under the circumstances, I laid, out, I laid not one but more than one finger on you while you were unconscious. But seeing as we were in public, I refrained from doing anything inappropriate, so you can relax. If only he would graciously accept my thanks, why did he have to phrase it like that? He didn't seem like a, very, like a bad guy, just sarcastic. I'm guessing he has a difficult personality. I ran out of sight before continuing. Can you at least tell me, what did you do to me? Do you really want to know? No, actually, I think I don't want to know. I tried to picture how one treats an unconscious person, but the thought just made me flustered. I cleared my throat in an attempt to regain my composure. Also, there's one other thing I'd like to ask you. Hmm? Am I the only one that came falling down? Yeah, why do you ask? I wasn't sure how I should respond to this question. If I lost consciousness, I thought they were talking to Luke, a young man who called himself the Hatter. Then I was no longer sure of myself, especially since I couldn't remember anything prior to waking up in a strange place. But I am certain of what Luke said. He said that I chose to be Alice. What did he mean by that? Luke smiled lightly while watching me as I tried to piece together my memories. Involuntarily, my brows knit together. I had a strange feeling that he could see right through my thoughts. My, aren't we uptight? There's no need to glare at me. His laughter was full of mirth, but before, before he suddenly whispered as if he was murdered or something. Well, I suppose that shows a good judgment. You shouldn't blindly trust the words of a criminal. His words stopped me in my tracks, and I found myself questioning Joker. A criminal? You? An ex criminal, to be exact. I've already served my time. What? Why are you quiet all of a sudden? I'm just surprised. Now I realize there are people in this world who can trust so easily. <laughs> you have me there, Alice. Because boys throwing off, I was filled with mud. I. What sort of crime did you commit? What is it you are after? I smell danger. Mm -hmm. What sort of crime did you commit? Let me see, what would be your guess? Stop trying to change the subject. I brought suddenly do together but Joker remained unfazed. Well, you'll find out about that sooner or later. I might even tell you myself, given my chance. It was only served the peak of my curiosity. I couldn't decide if Joker was a good man at heart. At least he didn't strike me as the type of person to be convinced of wrongdoing. doing. Hmm. Joker gave a small smile as he watched me. The curve of, the curve of his lips was subtle, but there was a twinkle in his rose-colored eyes. 
He looked amused, or rather in a good mood. I could sense his deep interest, which was his curiosity about me. What is it? Hmm? Nothing, really. If it's really nothing, then you shouldn't need, you shouldn't mind telling me. Hiding it just makes me more cu curious. Why are you looking at me like that? I glared at him as I asked, but Joka just smiled wildly and proceeded to enlighten me. I was curious about Alice. I wanted to know what she's like. I had such a high, I had such high expectations. I thought I would be disappointed when we actually met. But I find you fascinating. I really like you. His thought was straightforward. When he executed sincerity, I couldn't help but regard him with suspicion. Pleasing you doesn't make me happy. See, that kind of attitude only makes me like you even more. His weak thought had me sighing deeply. I waved my hands and started walking away. I need to go. Bye, Joker. There's no point in chatting with him anymore. You need to concentrate on finding the road to home. Go? Go where, Alice? I'm going home. Joker spoke to me, but I didn't turn in and kept walking. I had no idea where I was headed, but standing around wouldn't solve anything. I finally made it out through the forest. The forest was awful. It's, the, it's so purposeful to be confu to confuse anyone who dared enter. What's that? I saw a shadow at the end of the path. My eyes rounded at the familiar sight of a silk hat. That, that's Luke. His eyes darted around as he looked to be in a hurry. Hmm, I thought I as I muttered to myself. If I keep going, I will run into him, right into him. I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a chat with him and he intuitively sped up when... Not so fast. Huh? Along with a sting song voice came a strong hand from behind that clamped around my mouth. I didn't need to guess who the voice belonged to. Joker, are you following me? Sorry, we have to hide. Sorry is right, he's being he's being a pain. Since I couldn't scream, I struggled instead and my body was held in a tight grasp. Joker pulled me into the shadow of a tree where Luca couldn't see. He started my profile intently. By the way, Alice, weren't you with the hat right before you lost consciousness? How did you know? That never came up in our conversation. It wasn't hard. It wasn't that hard to figure out. He must have sensed that I was flustered as he spoke in calmly in a controlled voice. Apparently, the hat has been frantically searching for someone. Besides, he recently left the hat right behind and fell from the sky. Most likely had to do with someone interfering with magic. Magic? My guess is that the Cheshire Cat was playing a prank on you. What does that mean? This is all confusing. Joker grinned when I looked at him in confusion. Don't you see? Kyle didn't want you to look to be alone together. It appears that you are well loved, Alice. I wanted him to stop being flippant and glared at him in response to his teasing. Although I suppose there's no point. Joker refused to relinquish his hold on me. Every time Joker said something, his breath caressed my neck and it tickled. Of course, I tried my best to wrestle myself from his arms. Joker was surprisingly strong and didn't budge. In any case, this doesn't feel right at all. Everything Joker said was so confusing. I wanted to ask, but I kept my mouth from me shut. At least if he wasn't if he was looking at me, I could communicate with my eyes. He seemed to be completely lost in thought and made no move to glance my way. But his arms never loosened and held me tightly as I tried to break free. <clears throat> I was at the end of my rope. I stomped his on his foot with all my might. 
That must have surprised him and ended up releasing his hand. I took the opportunity to put some distance between us. That's enough! Joker looked at me askant as I unleashed my pe on my pent up frustration. Several seconds later, he came to his sons and apologized. I'm sorry, Alice. His weak apology came as somewhat of a surprise, but his next words again had me knitting my brows. I have my own reasons. Try not to take it personally. How can I not? As I stood there arguing, I lost track of Luke. I, re I released a small sigh and said to Joker, Explain yourself. Um, Joker, about what we were discussing earlier, can you be more specific? Oh, yeah. You know about how I should have been with Luke, but the reason I'm not is due to some prank by Kyle. What did you mean by that? I meant exactly what I said. No, there's something missing. I guess I felt I hadn't fully grasped the entire situation based on his mumbled explanation. As you're aware, I, as you're aware, I have no memory. So a lot of things that might be obvious to you are not to me. For the matter, I don't even know if Luke and Kyle get along if they, or if they're enemies. If they did get along, it might mean that Luke was the target of a simple prank. But if they were enemies, it might be more apt to describe the situation as a trap. Well, I suppose you do have a point. Luke was surprisingly quick to cut you whatever. It's rather inconsiderate of me to expect you to understand everything when you've lost all your memory. Isn't it? So? So you figure it's my responsibility to explain the finite, de finite details because you don't remember? I think I should be the judge of that. He was right. In the end, Joker had the last say of what he would or wouldn't tell me. His, eye, his eyes were narrowed in amazement as he watched me struggle for words. Incidentally, Alice, what do you plan to do now? Are you going to retrace your steps and follow the harder? Well, thanks to you, thanks to you, looks long gone. My skating with seemed to have no effect on Joker who kept on winning. Besides, it's not like I feel the need to see him enough to run after him at the moment. Probably because if my memory served me correct, Luke and I had just met. I had no idea if the Hara was somebody worthy of trust. Joker, on the other hand, seemed to think that the Hara was someone not to be trusted. For now, I think I'm going to turn. I made up my mind and raised my head. If it if even one person knows of Amy, it might help me with my lost memory. Yes, if only one, I could encounter someone who called me Amy instead of Alice. I could be confident in the fact that I was Amy. I see, very well, I'll go with you. What? Why? I'm interested in you, Alice. Does there need to be any other reason? I couldn't describe how I felt at the moment, but I couldn't hide my inner turmoil. Are you, re are you going to stand in my way like you did just now? If you are averse to having me stand in your way, I'll try not to. Of course, I reserve the right to stand by and watch. I smiled wildly as I shook my head. I appreciate your concern, but I'm more averse to being watched covertly. I'd rather you just do your ground. Alright. Joker laughed and nodded. His smile was surprisingly attractive. I do have one small favor to ask. And a checkpoint. Hmm?
a favor, I suppose if you insist on this, I'll do my best to honor it. See, that's just it. Everyone seems to be convinced without a doubt that I'm Alice. At least until I get my memory and remember that I'm re I really am Alice. To be honest, I couldn't imagine the day that like that would have come in. In any case, can I ask you that you call me Amy until I'm ready for you to call me Alice? All this time you've been calling me Alice, but it just doesn't feel right. Because I consider myself Amy. I see. Joker looked thoughtful for a moment and he, as he considered my request. I understand what you're trying to say. It can be comfortable calling you. Being called a name you don't recognize as your own. I have some reservations regarding your request, but I am used to committing crimes. I suppose one more friends won't make any difference. Hmm? His voice drifted in a whisper, but I couldn't catch the last part. Joker knew his focus on me and nonchalantly called me. Amy, for starters, I'll guide you to the ghost system from here. <laughs> Thank you, Joker. I smiled and voiced my appreciation, but I had decided to go into town. Obviously, I'd forgotten how to get there on my own. That's why I appreciated his generous, generous offer. Full of appreciation, I tagged along behind the guys who started to walk. We reached an adorable town that I rested to care about it. Unfortunately, it didn't conjure up any memories. It felt like my first visit. As I walked behind Joker, suddenly... Huh? Joker, what are you doing? Huh? Is she who I think she is? A very cheerful voice rang through the streets. Huh? <sighs> Where did you go, Amy? Huh? It's time for the next preview. Oh. I'm pretty... I'm pretty occupied at the moment, but I suppose I have no choice if it's my duty. I need to read what's written in this sheet of paper, right? Ugh, a mysterious gentleman approaches Amy. He claims to know the road home that Amy is searching for. Next episode approaching danger. She will face she will face danger. Must go now, I have to hurry and find Amy. And I guess that's the end of the chapter. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.